What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my UFC top 15 pound for pound rankings. This is going to be my rankings. It's just my opinion. So there's no right or wrong answer. And remember, this is going to be based off a lot of what these fighters have accomplished in their career and how I think they are just in today's world of MMA, how good they are. So some guys are going to be on here that are just really good right now, some because of past accomplishments. So without further ado, let's get into the list. So I'm going to fly through some of these pretty quickly and starting up at number 15 is going to be Shavkat Rachmanov. Now, this might be a surprise to some of you because, well, Shavkat hasn't even become a champion yet and he doesn't really have the credentials. But if we're talking about skill for skill and who I think could be a champion in the very near future, I think it's Shavkat Rachmanov. I mean, the guy's undefeated, all wins by finish. It doesn't get much better than that. He's going to be in a title eliminator fight soon enough, I'm sure of it, probably before the end of the year. And then he may get his crack at the welterweight title. So this one may be a little premature, but I really do think Shavkat is just great everywhere and deserves to be on this list. Coming in at number 14, another guy who hasn't reached championship status, but he's getting close to it. And that's Megomed Ankalaev. Now, Ankalaev recently hasn't had the most impressive wins. I mean, he did beat Johnny Walker, and that win does not age well. But he also had a close fight with Jan Blahovic that was deemed a draw in a title fight. And I honestly don't think that was a draw. I think Ankalaev won that. And he's been on a great winning streak. So I think that he is skilled also everywhere. He's a great striker. He can wrestle as well. And he's definitely going to be a test for Alex Pereira. So I'm putting him in at number 14 here. As I think in terms of activity and in, in terms of how good he is in the sport right now. I think he warrants to be on this list. Coming in at number 13 is going to be Marab Davalishvili, another guy on a massive win streak, 11 wins straight, and he is going to be fighting for the title next against Sugar Sean O'Malley. And Marab, I mean, he has the best cardio in the UFC, that's for sure, and his wrestling is just so dominant right now. He may have some of the best wrestling in the UFC too, and he's doing it at such a high level against tough opponents, and he's got a lot of great wins on his resume recently, so I think putting him in on this list makes sense as well. He has been a little little bit more active than some of the other guys on the actual pound for pound list and he has great skills as well I think he deserves to be a pound for pound fighter and if he beats Sean O'Malley he definitely will end up on the list anyway now we're getting into some of the champs and former champs coming in at number 12 is going to be Charles Oliveira this one may seem a little bit weird, but honestly, I think Oliveira is still one of the most well-rounded fighters in the UFC. I mean, his only losses are to really high-level guys, Makachev and Sarukian, and that Sarukian fight was really close. And I think if Charles did things a little bit differently in that fight, he may have even won it. So I think 12 is a good spot for Charles. He was recently a champion, recently had very impressive wins. So I think he still deserves to be on the pound-for-pound pound list. Coming in at number 11 now, it's the former champ, the great Alexander Volkanovsky. Also a great fighter and was a pound for pound number one at some point, like not even that long ago. So he, of course, should be on this list. And Volk's just a beast. I think he needs time off still. I don't want to see him come back yet. But when he does come back, I expect him to fight high level opponents and find success in some of those matchups. Now into the top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Max Holloway. Blessed is best and Max is an absolute beast and he put on an incredible performance in his last fight against Justin Gaethje and I think that really cemented his spot on this list. He's been in and about at the top and in the rankings for years now. He's been fighting some of the most high level opponents and I think that he still looks amazing in almost all of his fights. He beats high level guys. He deserves to be here and he's going to be fighting Ilya Tuporia next which is going to be amazing and if he picks up a win there as well he improves his already amazing resume and also moves himself up this list coming in at number nine now we have the interim heavyweight champion of the world tom aspinall who in my books is probably the heavyweight champion but whatever that's an argument for a different day 
Aspinall, though, he definitely deserves to be on this list. I mean, look at what he did to Sergei Pavlovich last time out. No one's ever done that to him. No one wanted to fight Pavlovich, to be honest, and Aspinall dealt with him handily. He has looked good in every fight. He has so many finishes. He's honestly just a complete package. He can wrestle. He can strike. He can grapple. He's everything, and he's a modern-day heavyweight, and he is going to find success for years to come in the heavyweight division. I'm sure of it. He has an upcoming fight with Curtis Blades, which is going to be very interesting and i think he will get the job done there as well so it may push him up even further on the list coming in at number eight now we have the middleweight champion dricus duplessis another guy that doesn't really get too many flowers when it comes to what he's accomplished in his career i mean he's beat sean strickland he's beat robert whitaker these are very tough guys and he has an upcoming fight with israel adesanya who is also another great fighter and would be a massive win on his resume of course i think ddp is very underrated still to be honest which is crazy to say i mean his wrestling is no joke he's displayed it multiple times and his striking seems to have improved as well he was able to hang with strickland on the feet i don't know if he was winning all the exchanges but he was there and he was still doing his damage. I think DDP is a great fighter. I expect him to beat Adesanya as well when they fight. And I think that'll cement himself on this list and potentially even further up. Coming in at number 7 is the flyweight champion Alejandro Pantoja. Not one of the most entertaining guys on the roster. Not a guy you hear about a lot, but an excellent fighter and deserves to be on this pound for pound list. I think that he's wiped everybody in his division. There really is nobody for him that he hasn't beaten. So I think that should say something in itself. He is a true champion, a true winner and a guy that i don't really see losing for a while it depends who he fights but i think he'll be a champ for a while and i think he's going to be up and high on this list for a while as well that brings me to number six one of the most entertaining fighters on the roster Ilya tuporia and the featherweight champion of the world of course knocked out alexander volkanovsky and it was incredible he did it amazingly and he has shown that he is clearly one of the best boxers in the ufc his boxing is slick and he has great jujitsu as well great grappling i am so excited for his fight with max holloway one of my most anticipated matchups of the entire year that's for sure and we'll see what happens in that one but Ilya, i mean what he did to volk definitely puts him on this list and i think that's why i see him so high up I also just think skill for skill, he's one of the best guys in the entirety of the UFC. That's why he's so high up on my list. That brings us into the top five now. And coming in at number five is the bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. I mean, this is a fair spot for him. I would consider him to probably be one of the best strikers in the UFC, if not the best. And he showed that against Cheeto Vera at UFC 299, put on an incredible performance, one of the performances of the year, to be honest with you. And I think he deserves to be this high up. I mean, I don't see many other guys in his division beating him in an all-out striking match. They're going to have to use wrestling because he's just too good. He's too quick. His kicks are amazing. His straight shots are fast. And he's just one of the most technical strikers in the ufc and he's also a great grappler as well a lot of people don't know that but sean o'malley does have some grappling credentials as well so all in all a great champion has a title defense and he may get another one against marab fair spot for him on the list coming in at number four now is john jones the heavyweight champion and this may seem low for some people or this may seem high for some people i don't know i think john jones is a bit of a mixed bag right now a lot of different opinions regarding him i mean he just got charged again so what back to the same old with john jones but we'll see what happens with him i don't even know if he's gonna end up fighting stipe now so that might not happen but either way it's john jones Whatever he does outside of the octagon, that doesn't really matter when it comes to his actual skill inside of the octagon. And he is very good, and he went in there, beat Surreal Gone in two minutes, so I understand why people would still want to have him high up on this list. But he's not number one for me. He's not even in my top three because there are just guys above him that have done more and accomplished more in the time that he's been away. He hasn't fought enough. He's only had one fight in the past four years, and... I think he's amazing, great talent obviously, but I can't put him up higher on the list and above these other three guys. Coming in at number three now, we have Alex 
Poeton Pereira. Some guys have him at number one, and honestly, I wouldn't really argue with it too much. The only thing holding Poeton back for me is he has lost recently, got knocked out to Israel Adesanya, so to put him above the other two guys who are on massive win streaks, I just don't think it's really fair to be honest, but Alex Pereira, I mean, this guy's the face of the UFC. I absolutely love him. You're always tuning in for an Alex Pereira fight, and you're rarely ever disappointed, so I think that itself should put you up in the top three and also his skill itself i mean he went up to light heavyweight he's knocking these guys out he's a two division champion already may even become a third division champion in the future he has a tough fight with Ankalaev coming up, but I honestly think if it stays on the feet, he's going to win again. One of the most devastating punchers in the UFC, freakish knockout power, and a freak athlete. Alex Pereira, definitely high up on this pound for pound list, and rightfully so. That brings me to number two now, and this may come to a surprise for some people, but not for me. Leon Edwards is number two on my pound for pound list, and honestly, I think it really comes down to this win streak he's on and how talented I think Leon is as an MMA fighter. I think his striking is amongst the best. I think he showed that his grappling is on par with a lot of these other guys when he fought Usman. And I think he's overall just one of the most well-rounded guys on the roster. And he's on a massive win streak. He's beaten notable names like Kamaru Usman, Colby Covington. He has a fight with Bilal Muhammad coming up, which I expect him to win. So if he goes on and does that, it only further proves my point. I think that a lot of people are going to be surprised to see him this high up, but honestly, I think that he's just so good, and I think those wins over Usman showed that, and that domination over Colby also showed he's one of the best guys. Number two on my list, but there is still one guy ahead of him. And I'm sure you guys have already guessed who it is. Of course, it's Islam Makachev. I mean, this guy probably wouldn't have been number one on my list if we we're talking about this maybe a year ago, to be honest, because I didn't think his striking was as good as some of these other champions, but it definitely is now. I mean, he showed it against Dustin Poirier, showed it against Volkanovski. Islam Makachev is the real deal. He's in his prime, and he absolutely deserves to be on top of the pound for pound list. He is the pound for pound number one fighter in the UFC and in the world. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what Dana White says. This is the true pound for pound number one. Whether you like him or not, that doesn't matter. You can't deny this guy's talents and his skills. His wrestling is elite. His striking is also looking elite now as well. And he looks like an absolute beast out there i don't even know who the hell is going to beat this guy to be honest i don't see armin doing it and honestly when i take a look at the other lightweights towards the top i don't really see any of them beating islam either it's going to be tough to knock this guy down and he could go up to welterweight and have a super fight with leon edwards so that would be incredible that would be awesome and if he were to get that belt as well i don't really think anybody could be arguing his number one pound for pound status but there you guys have it those are my picks for the top 15 pound for pound fighters in the ufc remember this is just my opinion this is not the concrete proof let me know what you guys think do you agree with my list do you not agree with my list let me know down below and also drop your rankings too let's see what you guys say and let's compare thank you all for watching this video if you liked it consider subscribing helps me out a ton and stay tuned for more rankings just like this one in the near future see you all in the next one